Hi everybody and welcome back, this is Final Hydra and today I'm going to be showing you guys the first episode in my multiplayer series for Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, I'm going to be doing this solo, specifically just to show everybody like how the game works and everything like that. That way when I play with my friends, you know, th th there's no there's no need to worry about all that information. It's all right here. So if you're into this, if you're into Rainbow Six and you're into first person shooters and you would like to play with me in multiplayer and jolly cooperation, then by all means leave a comment at the end of this video and let me know so that we can be friends and, I don't know, party up and get tactical with each other. Now, this video is going to be remain unedited. I'm going to show you guys the raw process of waiting for games, stuff like that. That way you can make your own, you know, successful or unsuccessful determination on if this game is worth it for you. <clears throat> So, Rainbow Six, for those of you who I don't know anything about the series, and are like, whoa, what is this game, Rainbow Six? Tom Clancy, who's that? I don't know. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege is a 5v5 um, kind of tactical shooter, objective-based, realistic first-person shooter. And that's the, 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 the long and short of it is what I've just said right there with my mouth hole. Um, the entire objective of the game is pretty much to... There are varying objectives that... It, it, man, I'm doing bad with this. Rewind. So the objective of the game is to capture an objective, defuse a bomb, uh, save a hostage and extract them. There's various objectives for each side, and uh, it's 5v5. If I did not mention it, we will all choose operators, which I'll show you in just a moment as we get into the game. And then each there is the attack step and the defense step, and then they will flip-flop teams will switch and then the other this team will then do the attack and then this team will do the defense and then it'll flip flop again just like that um oh yeah you can actually see my hands good so right now these are the operators i have the ones with the x's over them i haven't unlocked obviously and the ones now with an x over them and a person means that somebody has selected to play as that character so i'm gonna go into this game as glass because uh, we're gonna go in and secure an area i don't know the map you know what let's do fuse i like fuse because he's got a big light machine gun and you don't have to reload it very often if you don't really want to. And that 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 can sometimes really make or break situations by because it's got a hundred round like box drum, box clip, box clip on it. Yeah, box clip on it. So he doesn't have to reload very often. So that's why I'm picking him. And his special ability is basically he can take a little device, put it on a wall, and then it'll burrow into the wall and then drop grenades on the other side of the wall. So hopefully I can get to sneak on some people with it and get some kills. That would be fun, wouldn't it? I'd love that. I wouldn't get to see them die through like a kill cam, let's say, but I would like to watch it happen. But it doesn't. Sad, sad. But, anywho. So, where was I? Okay, so it's 5v5. We all pick operators, or you see this guy here as recruit. Basically, people who don't have operators, or let's say we all pick the operators that he has unlocked. He's allowed to play as a recruit. And then we, he'll go into the game basically with whatever gun he wants. Now on the attack step, uh, during the beginning phase of the level, we basically have to take these little drones that we're piloting right now. These are not the people. And we have to search the base or the building or wherever you would like to call it. The objective area to try to find what we're looking for. In this case, it's we're doing a secure the area. So we're trying to find a biohazard container. Um, in here, and I mean the dead giveaway would be like when you see the enemy team running around and they were, oh, they were on the whole other side of the building. I was nowhere near them. And this is a very short phase, you know, it, it can be made or broken simply by, you know, how good some people are or are not as, at using the drones. Oh, and I just saw one of their guys. Uh, I'm actually going to let the team know. Whoops, they have a pulse. I'm just letting them know in case they, because up top, see how they have the little icons? Those are what the operators are, basically. It shows, like, what everyone is playing as. And Pulse wasn't revealed, but I saw him at the last second. So I'm just letting my team know, you know, try to be as tactical as we can. Let everybody know who people are playing as so that they can... Can I... Can I burrow through this? Ah, oh, unbreakable. So I cannot drop grenades down from there. That's always a damn shame in my mind. Wow, uh, so they went in pretty hard, it seems, and they've gotten some people already. What I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy those two devices to try to help our team out a little bit. I 
Shot my teammate there by accident, and it happens. I got somebody through that surface there, because I, I came in automatically firing, which is dumb, yes. Not the smartest uh, thing you could ever do. Oh, he got me down, but we got him, so... Oh, no, we secured the objective, so he can't do anything to me. He can be mad all he wants. Yeah, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to, like, hip-fire him. But that's okay, I got one guy through that surface. I hit my teammate by accident, it happens. You know, he'll have to forgive me. He probably won't forgive me. You know, knowing people in this game, he's probably very mad about it. Alright, so we're gonna go in on the defense now is Doc. And I just unlocked Doc yesterday. He's kind of like the quintessential healer of the group, which is, he's the only one that could do it. But I can heal my teammates and revive them from a distance with his uh, ability, which I actually think is really cool. He also goes in on the defense sporting a 357 Magnum, which I just think is wonderful, because I just think that's a really cool gun. So I'm all about it. And I will probably use that at some point during this game, hopefully. You know, if things all go well. So we're in a different room. During the defense step, it's a little different. Now we have to try to secure this area <clears throat> from them coming in and trying to, uh, you know, attack us, you could say. I'm going to climb up here because <clears throat> we do have this breach here that they could potentially come through. And I want to minimize that as much as possible. I really don't want anybody uh, sniping down at us from above. And this here will help prevent them from getting in this side. Perfect. So that's all like that. What I am going to do is I'm going to run down here and use one of my objects to set up this little barrier here. Now the reason I do that is because this window, and you know, I only know this because I played a few times. I may have played this game, you know, if I haven't mentioned that to you folks just yet. This window usually becomes very contested very quickly um, by the attacking team, especially when they know the bomb is in that area. They will more than likely come up here and bother me a little bit. Whoa! He must have got a headshot on me. I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Oh, he's rubber banding pretty hard. Yeah, it was a, it was a headshot. It was 100 damage to zero. So now that I'm dead, it's uh, it's not the end of it just yet. I can still cycle through all the cameras in the facility and mark any enemies that they uh, that I spot. Uh, so I'm going to attempt to do that as best I can. I, I see Thermite up there on the roof. I've just marked him on the map for the enemy to, or for my team to see him. Uh, I'm going to continue to mark him. I don't really care. What's he going to do, shoot out this camera? I mean, worse things have happened. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I saw someone right there. If you saw right there in the middle of my camera, I saw somebody moving between those doors. But if you have noticed down there when I'm holding down the wall, there, I, I got him. Marked him. So that should let my team, especially we have a, a Cavera there. That's the girl with the green marker like this. Hopefully she can get in there and kind of, because she's a very aggressive defender. Um, I'm hoping that I can mark these guys up for my team and that it will behoove the enemy or behoove my teammates to be intelligent about how they are defending okay I just marked him again I mean I keep marking the same people in that area and nobody's made a move on them which could be for varying reasons they could just feel like they don't have a strong enough position he's now outside the building I'm going to continue to mark him because he doesn't seem to care that I'm marking him and we got him bam so see a little bit of you know yeah you can get mad that you got rocked and you lose during the the main little portion or you can try to be objective still on the defense after you die and still try to help the team which I did there and that turned out for the best uh, I think I'm gonna go in back as fuse again I did pretty good as in before I got one kill out of it I'm not upset about it I'm not upset right now I'm currently in last and I do believe that is because I shot my own teammate by accident that does give you negative points um, and I'm sure my teammate really wasn't happy about it but it was, a, it was an honest mistake. It happens. So let's see. We're going to go back in on the attack. Let's see if we can't find uh, find all of the their, mm, their operator is out. That way we know who we're playing against. 
Oh, excuse me. See, that's what I, that was messing me up. I knew I had to sneeze, and it was just coming. <coughs> oh, man. All right. I think I'm good now. I think I'm good. We found the objective. Good. So I'm going to start scooting my little drone that way. I think right here is good. No, right there is a little too close. They definitely have a mute on their team who can... I'm going to scan this guy right there. I'm going to scan her. She sees me up, oh, and I'm dead. Little drone got shot. You know, you can't win them all. I was trying to position it in just a way so that maybe they wouldn't, uh... They wouldn't notice it, because on the... After I die, I'm allowed to look through any drones that still exist and cycle through their cameras to assist the team. Still marking enemies, all that fun stuff. I'm putting a breach charge on this window, and I'm doing that for a very specific reason, because I don't want to go through that window. I just wanted to distract the enemy team by making it explode. I'm going to try to go around the back side of this, uh, this building. Okay, they killed the Kavera already, which is good, because she's so aggressive in her, uh, in her defense. I would almost worry about going into the facility and getting caught off guard by her somewhere. I'm trying to glance under the door a little bit. All right, we know they're in there. I'm gonna put this on the wall. Let's see what we could do. All right, destroyed a signal disruptor. Looking through the wall hole a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down here. Blow a hole up in the wall, see if anybody walks in front of me, you know? Oh, he's throwing stuff. So he's over here. I'm ready for him. I am ready for this guy. I know he's right here. I'm going to just ping this area so that my team can uh, identify that he's there. I'm trying to be... I don't know where he is. Oh, no, the guy that was there is gone. Secure the container. I'm securing it. I'm securing it. I'm waiting for this guy to run in right here and beat the crap out of me. I'm ready and... Capping it and winning right there. I'll take it. So I'm one and one. I didn't definitely didn't help the team. I didn't do anything crazy, you know. But I was I was a constant uh, I was a constant annoyance to the enemy. Let's say that. So that that was a flawless victory. Basically, we won three rounds there. The enemies didn't win at all. <clears throat> Pretty much your your picture perfect game right there. You know, yes, I did not do the best out of everybody, but I never said I was good at this game. That would be a lie if I. That would be a lie right out of my mouth to you folks. So that's going to be the end of this video. All future videos of Rainbow Six Siege will have my uh, my lovely subscribing teammates with me and uh, all my other friends and everybody else. So if you want to play with me, let me know. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like this content, please subscribe so you can see more of it as it comes out. And like I said, I am not the best at Rainbow Six Siege. So if you have tips, tricks, fun little things that maybe you don't think I know about the game, I'm more than happy to hear them in the comments. Let me know. And as always, I'll see you next time.